All right, so the Boy Scouts have voted to lift the ban on gay scouts, uh, but they're not lifting the ban on gay adults associated with the organization, so no, no uh, gay adult troop leaders. Now, the message they seem to be sending with this is that, uh, you know, there's some issues with these gay adult homosexuals, so we don't want them around because they'll indoctrinate children or something. Uh, but let's keep the gay youth around because, you know, how else are we going to cu uh, cure them? If we allow them to roam free, maybe they'll, you know, they'll go uh, and be, with a, be in a more tolerant uh, environment, in which case uh, we can't make them feel horrible about themselves by saying that gay adults are horrible. Uh, no, uh, so it's a private organization. They can do whatever the hell they want. Um, however, it's more about, you know, you as an individual of where you want to be. Would you want to be in a homophobic organization? And even though they've voted to lift the ban, only 60% voted to lift the ban. So four out of 10 people are still very homophobic there. Okay. And it also says uh, this, uh, the, the BSA, the Boy Scouts of America, however, will maintain its ban on adult gay leaders, yes. And the resolution also reinforces that scouting is a youth program and any sexual conduct, whether heterosexual or homosexual, by youth of scouting age is contrary to virtues of scouting. Okay, so basically, you, if you're a scout and you're part of an organization that 40% of it is homophobic and they're for abstinence, Absence only. Well, it doesn't really seem like that fun of a place. You know, I'm not, I haven't been a scout. I'm not involved in it. Uh, but if, if, if I were part of a homophobic organization like this, I, I won't stick around. I mean, it seems, it seems a bit masochistic to, to stick around when you're not wanted. Set up your own organization. Set up your own stuff. And, you know, with, with lifting of the ban, I think what you're going to see is the homophobia is going to be a lot more quiet, which is I actually don't like that. I prefer... Haters to be quite open. Uh, I prefer loud bigots because I can avoid them a lot easier that way. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say. And uh, that's